What so many people don't realize is the hardest part about running is putting on your shoes and stepping out the door. I completed my first Ironman when I was 41 years old. There's something to be said about pushing yourself to the very limits that your body can endure. I love to run. No emails, no phone calls, and no distractions. I think about my business, how I can be the best for my family, about the people in my life. So the influence that my mom had um, when I was getting into real estate was she was all about 100% commitment, 100% drive, um, delivering excellence, and um, really being authentic on who you are. And when I looked back on that, I said, that's me. I think social media um, is such a big verb. I use Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, I also use my blog, and then I put that out and put that on Google+, and I also use Craigslist. Social media is power. What I absolutely love about real estate is I love the people. I love helping people from the very beginning to the very end. I love getting them to the finish line, and I love, 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 love staying in contact with them afterwards to see how they are adjusting to their new home and see what, what finishes they've done. And to have my mom and my sister involved so I can rattle things off and um, play that teamwork, I think that's really important. I love that. I love learning. There's a lot to know in this industry, and it keeps changing, as you know. And so we bring a lot to the table, a lot of um, Mercer Island expertise. We've lived on the island a long time. Um, I think that piece is really important when you are putting something together, especially families that are moving families in or off the island. Um, to know that we have a winning combination, I think, is a really valuable and solid asset. I officially got into um, road racing originally because um, a friend of a close friend of ours came down with um, Hodgkin's disease, and so my girlfriend and I decided to tie up our shoes and start training for a marathon down in San Diego just to um, recognize the Story family. And so we um, did six months of training, went down to San Diego, ran the race. And then shortly after that, my girlfriend that I was involved with, she ended up getting ovarian cancer, or had ovarian cancer. And so that's when I started really racing in her honor. She was a fellow real, real estate agent and also a really good friend of mine. And she loved triathlon. So um, I have raised probably about $15,000 for the cause, which is, it's nothing compared to what these people are going through.